So let's talk about adding and removing nodes to a running cluster. Now in concept, this is something that you should be very familiar with if you're put in charge of a running cluster. Adding nodes to a cluster, why would you? Well, I would ask you why wouldn't you if that's how you scale. And in general, that's the answer. You need to scale. You need to add more capacity to your cluster. So when you've reached a limit of how much data you can store in your cluster, is a good time. Actually, before you reach that limit. So do some planning. This is how Cassandra was built to scale. Whenever you add more nodes, you get more disk capacity, you get more write capacity. It's how it scales and it's linear. That linear scaling actually works. It's been proven over and over again. And it's something that you should take advantage of because capacity planning is hard when you're on a single node system. When you're working with the Cassandra cluster, that game is awesome because you can plan ahead, but when you really need it, you know that you don't have to have downtime to add those nodes. So if you're using single token nodes, in this case, one token you assigned per every node, really the best way to expand your cluster is to double the size. That makes it easier for you to assign those tokens. And the token ranges have to bisect each one of the other token ranges. So it's one of those things you have to really calculate before you do it. This is why single token nodes are not as popular as using V nodes. With V nodes, these are virtual nodes, you can add more capacity incrementally because the node count is spread incrementally across all of the nodes. So each node then stores a certain token range, like many of them. When you add a new physical server, it will spread out those ranges amongst the cluster. So that token ring grows without having to worry about doubling it. When you add a single node at a time, you're incrementally adding the capacity in a controlled fashion. Instead of just dropping all the new nodes into the system and then letting it sort it out, this is a good practice. The best practice for any kind of expansion is a little bit at a time, let it grow over time. This is why a little bit of planning is really important too. If you don't really get ahead of your capacity planning, then what will happen is you're in an emergency situation and you have to add them quickly. Adding a bunch of stuff at the last second is never a good plan, especially in operations. So something you should avoid. The Ops Center product does have a capacity planning tool just for this reason. So hopefully this gives you some idea of why you would add more nodes. And in a later section, we'll talk about how to do it.